The Streamsets Data Collector is an innovative open source software you can use to build and operate continuous big data ingest pipelines. Without writing a single line of code, you can get streaming and batch data from a large number of sources, perform transformations, and sanitize the data in stream, and then write them to a large number of destinations. When the pipeline is placed in operation, you can get fine-grained data flow metrics, detection of anomalous data, and alerting so you can stay on top of pipeline performance. The Streamsets Data Collector deploys into a Cloudera cluster as a Cloudera Manager parcel and offers numerous connectors to the Cloudera Enterprise Hub. In this demo, we'll walk through a typical use case of real-time data ingest of IoT sensor data into HDFS for analysis and visualization using Impala or Hive. Our use case involves data generated in real time from shipping containers. The reality of data in the big data world is that it changes rapidly. For example, in our data stream, we have data from three different firmware revisions of IoT sensors out in the field simultaneously. With each version, new fields are added and the schema was changed. In our pipeline, we'll read data from a RabbitMQ source that's receiving MQTT messages from the devices out in the field. We check to verify that the messages we are receiving are the ones we want to work with. You can use a stream selector processor to specify a rule for this. Here we'll use this rule to declare all data matching this criteria is routed downstream, but anything that doesn't match the criteria will be discarded. We then use another stream selector to route data based on the firmware revision. All records matching firmware version one goes to this path, those matching firmware version two go to this path and so forth. We'll also specify a default catch-all rule to send any outliers to error. With modern data streams, we fully expect that the data will unexpectedly change. So StreamSets allows us to set up graceful error handling, such as shunting anomalous data to a local file, a Kafka stream, or even a secondary pipeline. That way, you can keep your pipeline running and simultaneously reprocess data that doesn't fit your primary intents after the fact. Let's start with handling error for firmware version 3, which added latitude and longitude data. So right away, we want to make sure that these fields are intact and have valid values. Since the location field is a nested structure, we want to flatten it and eventually discard the nested data. Similarly, firmware version 2 contains new orientation fields that we can verify and sanitize in a similar fashion. Finally, all device versions contain temperature and humidity readings. Here we first convert the data types of these readings. For example, temperature gets converted into a double, humidity to an integer, and date to a Unix timestamp. We then use a scripting processor to write some custom logic. For example, I'm showing a sample of converting Fahrenheit values to Celsius. Screamset scripting processors support Jython, Groovy, and JavaScript. After cleansing the data, we send it to a couple of HDFS destinations. The HDFS destination is highly configurable. You can choose to write to multiple Cloudera CDH versions, configure security as required by your local enterprise policies, and dynamically configure the path and location of your output files. StreamSets natively supports a large number of data formats such as plain text, delimited, JSON, protobuf, Avro, etc. In this example, we'll write data to a snappy compressed Avro file. Once you've designed the pipeline, you can switch to preview mode to examine and if needed, debug the sample data. You can step through each processor and examine the state of the data at any stage. For example, we see here that the data types were converted to double or integer, or here a calculation was done to convert the data. You can also inject data yourself to see what impact it has on your flow. Since all this is happening in memory, nothing is being written to the destination at this point. Preview mode provides you an easy way to debug pipelines without putting it into production. Now we are ready to execute the pipeline and start ingesting data into our Cloudera cluster. Hit the start button and the UI changes to execute mode. At this point, the data collector starts ingesting data, processing it in memory, and sending the data to the destination. We also see fine-grained metrics in the window below. For example, we can see how many records came in, how many were written out, uh, you can see how much time was spent in each processor and how much memory it consumes. And all of these metrics and a lot more are also accessible via JMX. As we drop data into our Cloudera cluster, we can immediately start querying via Impala or Hive 
and running analytics, machine learning, or visualization on that data. As you can see, the combination of StreamSets Data Collector with Cloudera Enterprise creates a powerful platform for ingesting and analyzing IoT and other types of real-time streaming data. For more details on this use case, you can download the IoT reference architecture for Hadoop or watch our recent webinar, both available at streamsets.com.